Keeping our promise to keep our economy moving forward, creating jobs and boosting business investment. Today's mid-year economic report shows that we're on the right path with our fiscal priorities. Alberta's economy is resilient and our finances are on track. We continue to use our strength today to the benefit of Albertans tomorrow. We're now forecasting a surplus of $5.5 billion for the current fiscal year, which is a $3.2 billion increase from our forecast in Budget 2023. And I don't think Alberta's ever faced having to refinance uh, debt stacks like you're alluding to. I believe the numbers are $7.5 billion in this fiscal year, six the next, and then 13 13.2 in the 25-26 year. Um, our last debt bond offering was uh, came in at an all-in cost to Alberta of 4.6 percent. That's uh, that's refinancing debt that was, uh, and this is this will just be close, but somewhere in and around 2 percent. So the the delta change on that, if you take a take a billion dollars, we're talking about 46 million dollars per billion to service that going forward when it was just at 20 million. So you can see how dramatic that can be to our debt servicing costs. How do we address it? We use the fiscal rules, we limit our operational spending, we pay down what we can in the good years, and we, we uh, hope, there's, hope, hope there's a lot of good years. The, the out years get tight is because of the affordability measures that we've taken on. You know, indexing all the social programs, indexing the basic personal exemption, which is already the highest in the country. So that that work continues to help every Albertan, uh, not to mention the tax advantage that we have over every other jurisdiction. Uh, so we'll do what we can to keep their taxes low. I think that's the number one cost to, to any family, and that's 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 our commitment. If there's other things that can be done, they they will be. But that's that's the big picture.